you math maniacs out there in TV land, it's time for our first futuristic episode of Math Homework Helpers. Stick around. We'll be right back. A little help from your friends here on TV. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. Math homework helpers, oh yeah. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. Math homework helpers, oh yeah. Welcome, everyone, to Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today are two amazing teachers. From Pinewood Elementary School, we have the fantastic Miss Hake. And from Dundalk Middle School, we have the wonderful Mr. Kara. Hey, Ollie. Happy New Year to you. Is it just me, or are you a little extra excited today? Oh, oh, Miss Hake, I am super excited today. You don't know why? Because now we are in the future. Well, I guess in a way you're right, Ollie. We begin not only a new year, but a new decade. I know. It's so cool. What's even cooler is that right now we are even in more of the future than we were just a moment ago. Hmm. Oh. Very interesting perspective, Ollie. Wow, Miss Hank, you just spoke even further into the future. But now, now, I am even beyond you more in the future. Oh boy, Ollie, I think you might be taking this future thing a little too far. Exactly, Mr. Kara, I'm taking it way far, way far into the future. Well, Ollie, you are in luck because now we get to start the show, which is even further into the future. Oh, man. If this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you will have the chance to win one of our four very cool prizes from our math homework helpers Puck to pick a prize wall. Mrs. Hake, what are our prizes today? This week's prizes are a pencil pack, calculator, highlighter, and a USB flash drive. Don't forget that after we help our callers with their math problem, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize wall. And the caller will win whatever prize the puck lands on. Sounds great. Let's get things moving and go to the phones. The number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Ollie, who is our first caller of the day? Oh, well, we are ready for callers for sure. Right now on the phone, we have a third grader from Norwood. Her name is Amber. Hello. Hello, hello, happy new year. Hey, happy Amber. New year, Amber. Happy new year to you. Amber, do you like living in the future? Yes. It's so cool, isn't it? Yes. I'm still waiting on flying cars. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> right? Amber knows. Hey, Amber, do you have a futuristic math problem for us? Yes. Oh, we are so ready. Aren't we ready, guys? We, we are, are ready. ready. OK, Amber, what problem you got? Over the summer, John made $72 selling lemonade. He made $9 each week. How many weeks did he sell lemonade for? Write a division sentence and multiplication sentence to help this solve this problem. OK, so he made $9 each week? Yes. OK. That's pretty good money for selling lemonade. Yeah. That is very Maybe good I'm in the money. wrong line of work. And Amber, was that $72 total? Yes. And we need a division problem and a multiplication problem? Yes. All righty. So $72 is what he made, the, let's just say, the summer. We all love the summer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if he made $72 over the whole summer and each week was $9, 
What two, what operation can we use with those two numbers? I think I might know the bit. Oh, okay. But am I going to, to figure out how much, do we have to figure out how much he earned? You have to figure out how many weeks he worked. He worked. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yes. Okay. okay. So cool. we have nine dollars each week. We need to know find out how many weeks he actually worked to make seventy-two dollars. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are we gonna add, subtract, multiply, divide? Do you think? Yes. Which one? Um, multiply and divide. Okay. So if we're just looking at the seventy-two dollars as a whole, and he made nine dollars a week, and we want to know how many weeks he worked. I. Yes. Okay, so do you think we're going to multiply or divide that one? Um, maybe divide? I think you are maybe absolutely correct. Hey, there you go. So, because I want that number to be smaller or larger. Um, maybe smaller? It's going to yes. be, yep, you got it, because it's $72 is your whole, and then you're breaking it down by $9 a week. Perfect. Do we need an answer to that as well? Probably. Or yeah. do we just need an, okay. I wonder if we can use multiplication to help us get that answer. I think we absolutely can, and that Good was idea. the other equation you needed, correct? She did say we would need to use multiplication and division. I right? Think. She did, right, yeah. Amber? Yep. So we're going to do say $9 times a number will equal $72. Do you know what that missing number is? Uh, no. Okay. So has your teacher taught you any strategies how to multiply? Yes. Okay. So what strategies are you working with? Um, he gave us a couple ways, but um, I like using a raise sometimes. Okay, nice. using arrays. So let's cool. go ahead and down here, we will draw an array. Wow. I'm going to start this way. So we'll go, why don't we say, we'll go seven this way. Four. No, are those shelves five, for the lemonade cups? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. And then... Going this way, if we did our, oh, I want to go nine, don't Let's I? Let's go nine. Yep, two <laughs> more. I thought about that for a second. So, Amber, I do see any basic facts as, as we're making this. Do, 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 do any numbers go together that you see? Um, what happened? Uh, That's a tough one. No. Okay. All right. Well, let's. So I need to break this up, right? Yep. In, by some kind of number to get me a full 72. So if I break it up just this going down one time, how many do I have? How many little squares will I have? Should we count them? I should have nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then if I break it up again, what's nine? Double nine, nine times two. So if you were skip counting, you would say nine, and then what comes after nine? Skip counting by nine. Eighteen. 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 Excellent. So if I go down again, still skip counting by nine, what comes after eighteen? Nine, eighteen. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Very good. Go. One more. Nines is a tricky one. Should we label it on top as That's we go, and I that way thinking. she can keep track? So there we have nine. We have eighteen. Oh. We have twenty-seven. What's this row? Um, thirty-six. Thirty-six. Perfect. I love watching the patterns. I love watching. Yes, the, of the, the numbers. Yeah. So the tens and the ones changing. There's a finger trick too. Yeah. It is. Okay, it's hard so for me to do. What comes after 36? 45. 45. Perfect. And another row. Getting snug. Let's see, what's the next one? Um, 
53, 54? 54. 54. Great. Good. And did you see what Mrs. Hake was talking about? How yeah. I have 18, and then the tens place goes up one, and the ones place goes down one? Yeah. So now, if I do this row, and I think I'm going to need another row, what's that going to be? Yeah, keep going. 45, 54. 45, so 54. <laughs> Go ahead. What's the next one? 63. 63. Yep, keep going. And I'm if you kept almost going. there. I have to do one more row. I was just writing down what you guys were okay. writing. Oh, I That's love it. That's a good it. idea. So what would be after 63? 74. I mean, 72. Good. Hey. Perfect. And that's okay. exactly where we need to be, right, that number sounds familiar. So we have one factor. We have your product. We have to find the other factor. So let's count the groups of nine that we have. Right. So there's one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. 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 Uh, oh, eight. There's eight. You got to stop at eight. Eight. So because I have eight columns. Does that make sense, Amber? Yeah. Okay, so so nine times eight, right? Yeah. So yeah. seventy-two dollars divided by nine dollars is going to get you eight weeks that he must have worked. And then what number is going to go in that one? Eight. Nine dollars times what? Nine times eight equals. Excellent. Same so thing. nine dollars times the eight weeks. He earned seventy-two dollars. Can we just write the basic fact underneath without the dollar signs? We sure and maybe can. She can. It helps to know those nine facts. They're tricky to memorize, but we used them for sure here. Because using those basic facts really helps you with division, Amber. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Did we help you out, Amber? Yes, a lot. Oh, okay. yeah. Good, Amber. Well, Wait, Amber. Oh, tell her. Tell her. Yeah, we're what, what time is it, Amber? Drop the pick, drop the pick up. <laughs> yes. There you yes. go. I can't say that either. It's Pop hard the for all of us. Hey, Amber. Hey, Amber, here we go. I'm going down the middle for you. Here we go. Da, 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 da. The flash drive. The USB flash drive. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for calling, Amber. Amber. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. 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 And we'll be in the future next week. Oh my gosh, you're so right. We're in the future now, though. We are. Oh but my wait, gosh. I'm and still. Now. I'm even more in the future now. And now. And now. <laughs> we could do that the whole the we whole show. Could. We could. <laughs> you know who's in the future now? Who? I think. Another I caller? I think yeah. so. Who's on the phone? Do you know? Aya. Aya, hello from Norwood Elementary. Hi. 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 Happy New Year to you. How are you? Good. Yeah, we're so happy you called. You know what we're ready to do? We are ready to help you with your math. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. OK. OK, we're ready. We're ready in the future. Um, Macy went to the store with $24. She wants to buy pencils. A pack of pencils costs $6. How many packs of how many packs can she buy? Write a division sentence and a multiplication sentence to help solve this problem. Whoa. All right. Where'd we go? So she had $24. Was it $6 per pack of pencils? Yes. Okay. Oh, six. Okay. Oh, I'm you guys sorry. don't want to do that one with seven? Come on. That'd be fun, right? I, 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 was, would be I fun. was really, I was worried <laughs> for a second. This is kind of similar to the last one we did. It, it is. is. We might be able to use some same strategies. You I know, think you're right. Because I didn't see a basic fact there, and I got nervous because <laughs> I like my nervous. basic facts. Yeah. All right, Aya. So where would you go? So you need to find a multiplication problem and a division problem? Um, six times. We know that six is one factor, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, because that's the number of, of pencils per pack, right? Uh, the, the price of pencils. Right. And do you just need to know how many packs she can buy? Yeah, what's the problem I, uh, asking again? What did the problem say? Macy went to the store with $24. She wants to buy a pack of pencils. A pack of pencil costs $6. How many can she buy? Ah, okay, okay, good. How many buy? Okay, so how many packs of pencils can she yeah. buy with $24, right? Got it. 
Yeah. So how many packs of $6 pencils can she buy for $24, right? So she has $24 and she's buying, they cost $6, so how, much is, are they go, how many is she going to get? So let's think about representing it. Thanks. Okay. okay. So we have one pack of pencils, two packs of pencils, three packs of pencils. If you were going to count by six, skip count by six, what, what would we get so far? Um, six, six, 12, 12, 12. 18, good. 18, oh, keep going. Four, oh, that number sounds familiar. 30. Okay, so hold on because I think you got to a number that you were looking for, don't you? Didn't you? Yeah, I heard her say 24. Yeah. Okay, so how many packs do we have, Aya? Four. Four packs. Four. So $6 times four packs is $24. So that means if you had $24 and they were $6 a piece, you would get four packs. So you would get four packs of pencils. We won't worry about the tax. No. no. <laughs> we'll assume these are tax-free pencils. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Wow, that Did answers that the problem. So, so skip counting and modeling really helps, Aya. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. So what, what are you ready to... to Pick a prize with the puck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, here well, we go. Okay. The puck picks the prize. The puck, the puck the picks puck the prize. Picks <laughs> here we go. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. You got the pencil pack. The pencil Ooh, pack. Congratulations. That is awesome. It's nice and clear, too. You can see all your pencils You in know there. what? That's funny with the problem we just did, that you got a pencil pack. Yeah. We yeah. were just talking oh, about that. Oh, my gosh. There could be four in each one. I didn't even think about that, Ellie. Oh. That was meant to be. It was. It was. A pack of pack of pencils. A problem about pack of pencils, and the prize was a pack of pencils <laughs> with a pencil pack. Whoa. Something like that. We're so glad you called. Thank you for calling. Bye. 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 <laughs> we could easily make a tongue twister here. We could. We could. The puck to pick a prize prize was a pack of pencils after the problem was that we did a pencil pack problem. And Girl, you I can like say that. that again. Why don't you say it again? <laughs> you know what? I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for another call? Yes, we, we are. Have call do we have one? Yeah, we do. Awesome. On the phone now from Pot Spring Elementary in fourth grade is Noah. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hi, How are you, Noah? Good. Yeah? Yes. Hey, did you get a chance to play in the snow? Yeah. You did? Did you build a snowman? No. Oh. <laughs> did you I build a like snow? Like did you build a snow ball, ostrich? Right? Wait, what? I to play snowball fight. Oh, oh snowball fights. Fight. Very cool. They're well, fun. we are so happy you called, and we're ready for your math problem. So go for it. So I should not be. I am learning the buying, and my my answer is one one hundred and forty divided by six. One hundred forty divided by six. Yeah. Okay, and you just need to find the answer for that. Yeah. The quotient. Okay. What Either strategies um, is your teacher teaching you at school for dividing? Yeah. Are yeah. you, are you are using you area models? Are you using partial long quotients? Long divisions. What have you been using? Area models. Area models. Okay, excellent. This is going to trigger back my well, memory. Well, I, I, we just started doing this in class. You, you want to do this? I can, I can take it All if right, you we're like gonna to. Let Mrs. Hank. She seems very excited okay. about it. You, know, you go to middle school, they use the algorithm. And, you know, I, I really just learned this for myself the first time. So, Noah, your divisor is six, correct? Yeah. Okay. And 140 is your dividend, right? Yeah. Okay. So you have to think to yourself, how many groups of six are there in 14? Just look at those first two digits. Yeah, how many if times you, does if, six? If you were going to count by sixes, how many sixes are there in 14? Mm -hmm. um, if you said six, 12, 12, 18, how many groups of sixes? Um, um, 18. 
Well, there's two groups because you have well, two. two. Six times two is 12. So you have two groups of six. Okay? So you'd have two groups, but you're going to annex to yeah. zero. Okay? Okay. So it's really 20 groups of six in 140. Oh. Okay, so you're going to divide first. Now you're going to multiply. 20 times 6. Well, you know your basic fact, right? Yeah. Okay, so if 6 times 2 is 12, then 20 times 6 is what number? Um, 120. 100. Very good. Go. Good job. So now we're going to subtract. First we divide, then we multiply, now we subtract. So 0 from 0 is 0. What's 4 minus 2? Noah? Um, 4 minus 2? Take 2 away. 2. 2, mm -hmm. good. And then 1 minus 1 we know is 0. Zero. So that's one part. Now you have 20 still left. So think about your basic facts again and think about how many groups of 6 are in 20. Think about what we just did down here. If you continue to count by sixes, 6, 12, 18, what would the next multiple be? It would be 3. It would be 24, right? Yeah, 24. Okay, so 24 is greater than 20. So they can't be four groups of six, so there have to be one, two, three groups of six. Three. Okay? Okay. All right, so now you have three groups of six. We just divided again. Now we need to multiply. What's 3 times 6? Okay. What is it? Do you know what 3 no, times 6 is? What's 3 times 6? Six? 3 groups of 6. 18. 18. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now we find the difference again, and we know 20 minus 18 is? 20 minus? Yep. Okay. Okay, so what's 8? 2. 2. two. Yep. Good. Okay, so now we're left with 2. So is 6 greater than or less than 2? Less. It's 6 is greater than 2, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can't divide six into, into 2 into 6 parts, can we? No. No. So that is a remainder. So you have your partial quotient up here. You have 20 groups of 6 in, a, in 140, and you have 3 groups of 6 in 20. So together, that makes 23 um, with a remainder of 2. Very good. Did she help you out, Noah? Does that make yeah. sense? It does. So, Noah, you, just, you have to practice area models again and again and again. Yeah. It just takes okay. a lot of getting used to, okay? Mrs. Okay. Hake, you definitely refreshed my memory. So nice job. Just go go in parts. It's all about breaking your number up. Go with your basic facts. Basic okay. facts really help out, don't they? Absolutely. They do. Okay. Well, hey Noah, guess what it's time for? Why? It, yeah. Yes. It's time for the puck all right. the prize Here we go. <laughs> You get the USB flash drive. Yay! Noah, we're so glad you called. Thank you for calling. Bye now. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Wow, that multiplication stuff, it really pays off when you do division. It really it does. does. They're yeah. like totally related. Yep. They're like brother, sister. They are. They are. Or brother, brother. Or, or sister, sister. Yes. <laughs> you guys ready for another call in the future? We are. We are. Okay, wait, let's go to the future first. That's what it looks like when we go to the future. Did you see that? <laughs> that was good. It was, it was, it was like look, walking into the light. Yeah, yeah. but well, yeah. Yeah. The future is the light. The future light. Okay, on the phone now, okay. we have a third grader from Newtown Elementary. This is Amaya. Hello. Hello, I'm in fourth grade. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Okay, I'm very I am sorry, so sorry. Amaya. Hi, we have Amaya. the wrong information. In fourth grade. Well, we're so glad you're in fourth grade, and we're glad you called. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. We are so ready to help you with math. It's crazy. So we're ready for your problem. Go for it. 86 divided by 3. 86 divided by 3. More division. More division. This is fun stuff. And I bet, are we using area models? 
Um, no. Well, we're using remainders with the um regular sign, like the one that's like a cap and like the division house. So like the you, house. So are you are you using yeah, like partial quotients or are you using long division? Please say long division. Like the partial algorithm. Partial so quotients. You, and you're using partial quotients. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you have an 86 divided by three. Oh, there we go. We still set it up that way, right? Yep. We still set it okay. up that way. Yeah. So if she's doing partial quotients, though, I'd leave some room up here because we're going to have. We have to keep. We have to build our up. quotients. Okay. Yes. So let's move our problem over here. You guys have me on my toes today. It's been two years since I've done elementary school. Well, you're doing a great job. Yes. Though. Well, thanks, Mrs. Hake. Okay. For She's a great teacher. Remember, she all about basic facts. Great teacher. Okay. All right. So how I used to do this is say, okay, so how many times could three go into 86? Or to think about eight in general, or 80. Eight, yes, we could do that too. So how many times, Amaya, can three go into eight? We could um, how many groups of three are in eight? Here's those facts again. We could do that skip. Oh. Two. two. Two times. Excellent. But it's not just eight, it's 86. So if we go up here and we say 20, mm -hmm. right, Amaya, I'm going to make that a 20 because it's 86 and not just six or not just eight. And then I have to multiply. So I'm going to put up, I love, we used to do, um, does McDonald's Donuts, serve burgers meals. raw? Wait, what? <laughs> Keep watching, Ollie. Keep watching. Yeah. It'll, it'll click. So we just divided, right, Amaya? Mm -hmm. So now we need to multiply 20 times 3. So if we know that 2 times 3 is 6, what's 20 times 3? 60. Good. 60. Mm -hmm. So Good now job. I have to subtract. What's 86 minus 60? I have to regroup this one. So my, my 8 becomes a 7. And my six mm -mm. becomes sixteen. Isn't it? Or we do it this. Oh, yeah. It was six minus zero, right? Oh, here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. But that didn't happen. Thing yeah. Let's go we back all, and we all, all, we all make mistakes. Day. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna erase everything. Okay. Okay. All right. So six minus zero is six, right? Six. Yeah. Okay. Six <laughs> minus zero is six. We're gonna ignore that. This is still eight. 8 minus 6 is? 2. 2. two. Yep. Very good. So I start the process over. So I just subtracted. I have nothing to bring down, so we're going to ignore that. How many times can 3 go into just 2? Nope. Not I really, can't. right? I can't. So now right? we're going to think of our basic math facts. How many times can 3 go into 26? So you want to skip count with me? We can continue skip count. I do, so I, I do. Yay. Three, six, nine, eight, nine, nine 12. 12. Oh. Okay, 15. 15. I can 15. still go. What, 18. 18. Good. Mm -hmm. 21. 21. 21. 22. 22. 24. And if I go 24. again, I'm going to be at 27. And that's Seven. too much, so right? So that's too much. Too much. So I'm going to stick with this 24 right here. Got to be close and without going over. And that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. Ooh. Okay, so that 8 I'm going to put above my 20. And what do I do now, Maya? Do you know? Now, um, I just divided, so now I have to multiply again, right? So 8 times 3 is? Remember, 8 groups of 3? 24. 24. 24. 24. Good, I'm glad you remember that because I got rid of that on the bottom, so we had more room. Okay. And now I subtract again. And 6 minus 4 is? One for me and one for you. 24, 25, 26. Two. 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 Thanks, Ms. Hake. So is three greater than two? No. No. Oh, if okay. I, yeah, if I'm really hungry, I want three cookies versus just two cookies. Three oh, yeah. Three is greater than Wait, two. Wait, you have cookies? Maybe. 
in the future. Oh, way man, I can't wait to get there. Yeah. So this, too, is going to be our remainder. But we have to do something else first. We have to add these two numbers together. Do you know what 20, minus, 20 plus 8 is? I do. Amaya, 20 Three. plus 8 more. Amaya, are you still there? Amaya, if I write it like this, does that make it a little bit easier? Zero plus eight. 28. 28. There we Excellent. go. Very good. So 28, and then this is our remainder. That's the raw part. Where does McDonald's serve burgers raw? So our answer is 28 remainder two. Cool. Okay. Does I want to circle help you that out, answer. Amaya? Can you give a big circle on that answer? There's a lot of numbers on there. Big circle. There we go. Answer. Okay. 28 remainder two. Amaya, does that help you out? Yes. Okay. All right. Amaya. Awesome. Well, you, you know yes. what it's time for now. The puck to, to pick, pick a, a prize. prize. Whoa. In the future. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna go side. I'm gonna go to the side this time. Yeah. All right. Let's see and what happens. Get their prize in the future. Ooh, another pencil pack with two pencils, by the way. There we yes. go. Oh. It's a bonus. It is a bonus. Amaya, thank you so much for calling. Bye, Bye Amaya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right. All right. Well, you know we use math so many ways in life, not just in class. So let's head out to the streets of BCPS and see who Maria is talking to now. Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Hola. Yo soy Maria, and today I'm here with Melanie Webster, a manager in La Oficina de Compras, which is the purchasing office. I know you must use math a lot here. Hello, Maria, and thanks for coming by. And yes, you know it, we do use math every day. Here at the purchasing office, we help schools and offices all over the county buy things, purchase items at the best price. Wow, can you give me an example? Of course. Sometimes we help offices organize really big events. For example, each year BCPS has an orientation for all of the new teachers that are hired to work in the schools. At this three-day event, we provide food to the teachers. So we need to figure out how many sandwiches, salads, and drinks need to be ordered to feed everyone. We have to figure out the number of hours needed for setup and cleanup and then we have to remember that this is for three full days. Wow. So each person's meal costs $9.65. We have a thousand people for a total of $9,650 for the food. Then we have table costs and cleanup. So our one day cost is $10,250. Multiply that by three days and we have a grand total of $30,750. Wow, that's a lot of math. It sure is. We also help schools decide which companies to use when they order school supplies, furniture, equipment, and so much more. We want to be sure we get the best prices and still get quality items. Offices and schools use purchase orders and eSchool Mall to order the things they need to keep running. Wow, there's a lot of things going on here in the purchasing office. Yes, there is, and a lot of math. Thanks for stopping by, Maria, and please come back again. Gracias. Adios. Adios. That was cool. That was, that was cool. cool. I love those little segments. I always learn so much. Absolutely. And it's amazing how many places math is, you know? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. 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 Speaking of future. everywhere, do you guys ready for, are you ready for a new caller? We are. We are. All right. On the phone now, we have Nathan from Relay Elementary in fifth grade. Hello. Hello. Hi, Nathan. Hi, how you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Do you have a math problem for us? Uh, yes. So it's going to be 137 
times 39. Short and sweet. I like it. All right, sounds perfect. What strategies are you doing in school, Nathan? Are you doing um, long multiplication? The standard algorithm. The standard algorithm? All right, excellent. So oh, then I have to reset this up, right? Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. 137 times 39. Yep. Excellent. Do you know what two numbers I start with, Nathan? Um, nine and seven. Perfect. What is Jam. nine times seven? Uh, 63. Great. There you go. And I have to regroup. What's nine times three? 27. Plus six? 33. Oh, boy, he's on a roll. Mm -hmm. And nine times one? Is nine. Plus three? 12. I like how you put in the plus three when, you, when you're regrouping. It helps keep them yes. focused. So that yeah. way this I can remember. number is 1,233. That's the part. That's the first partial product, right? Yep. Excellent. So yep. that was our ones place. I'm mm -hmm. gonna get rid of those pluses, those regroupings, yeah. so that we don't get confused. And then you cross out the nine, and you annex the zero. I, oh, I love that you yes. know to annex. You knew you use the word annex. And what crossing out the nine. Annex. That's a nice. That's yep. a nice way not to not do it by accident. That's perfect. Yes. And that's our placeholder annexing because now we're actually multiplying the tens place. Yep. So Perfect. So three times seven? 21. And three times three? Uh, nine. Plus two? 11. Excellent. And three times one? Three. Plus one? Is 10. Three times one is three plus one is? Um, three plus three. one. Three plus one is four. Well, hold on, I gotta go do something real quick, okay? Okay, hold real on. quick. And then one more, right? And, and then we need to, it was three. Oh, plus one, I'm sorry. Wait, I was okay. adding by accident. Nathan, are you back? You back? He, he went into the future. He's oh. into the future. Oh, oh yay. He's back. He okay. back. We, we, we thought you. you were stuck in the future. He's back from the future. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nathan, what do uh -huh. I do with these two big numbers? <laughs> Oh, we add them up. Excellent. I'm going to add those together. Hold so, on. three plus zero. You, did you go back to the future, Nathan? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Can you come back? Yes, I'm back. Okay, okay. great. Three plus zero. Three. Excellent. Three plus one. Uh, four. Two plus one. Three. And one plus four. It's five. Excellent. And there's a comma that goes somewhere in there. Do you know where that goes? Uh, right between the five and the three. Oh, mm -hmm. You are so smart. You guys better watch out. This Nathan is I one know. sharp he, cookie, man. I take our job in a few He's going to take your job. I think he's going to take oh. our job in the future. Nathan, oh. you are amazing. You did that in like two seconds. No. Mm -hmm. That was excellent. So 5,000. Oh, no. I have to go back in the future. Oh. Wait, what? He has to go oh. back to the future. He's back Wait, to the yeah. future? Okay. Well, wait, we got to well, get in the prize future. First. We have to go get prizes, right? Now all we need is a Huey Lewis soundtrack. Oh, my golly. Going to go back in all time. All right. So here we go, Nathan. We're going to do this even though you're in the future. Yeah, I'm back. Da, 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 da. Ooh, the highlighter. Oh, I like that highlighter. Oh, He's so happy. Yeah. Nathan, thank you so much for calling. Thanks, yes. Nathan. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye. Boy, that problem just flew by. It did fly by. Now it, it's put us more in the future than we were to start. And we are. And I never went in the future so many times before. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It really is. Cars fly there. You know that? I, that's what I hear. And being an ostrich, I need all the help I can get. Uh, you, you do. <laughs> you, you know? Do. Yep. You guys ready for another caller? We are. we are. Okay, on the phone now, we have a first grader from Wellwood Elementary. This is Kalia. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi. Kalia. How are you? Good. Yeah, Good. did you play in the snow? Yes. Oh, yeah, I love the snow. Do you love the snow? Yes. Me too. That makes two of us. Hey, guess what, Kalia? We are ready for your math problem. My math problem is to find five ways to make 
12 combining three or more numbers. Okay, five ways to make 12. To make 12. Ooh. This is cool. This is different. I like using this. Th using three or more numbers? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. This sounds like a puzzle. It does sound like Doesn't a puzzle. Doesn't it? Like a puzzle? I think this is going to be fun. I love it. Math okay. is always fun. Always so, fun. No always. matter what, two, three, four. Ooh, see, five. it looks like a puzzle. Our sum has to be 12. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. Boy, our, our poor snowboarder keeps getting written over. I know, he does. <laughs> He's still up there, though. Okay, so Kalia, what have you been doing to start um, finding multiple uh, add-ins to, to get to 12? Have you started with, a, with like a 1 or a 2? I... Because we would you have to start with a number yeah. greater than twelve or less than twelve? Yeah. I'm sorry. So less. 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 Did okay. you want to start with six? Is that what you said at first? I heard yeah. her say six. 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 Okay, six. Okay. All Perfect. right. She's got us halfway there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. How much more do you want to add to that? What's the next add in do you want to do? Another number. Six. Another there six. No. Okay, so now you have six and six, which is how much? Twelve. Twelve. But you need to have three or more add-ins. So you're missing a number, and uh -oh. there's only one number that can fit in there that can get you to twelve, because you already have twelve altogether. So if you already have zero, zero. Oh, very good. good. So that's one way. Six plus six plus zero there is you go. one Check way. It off. Number right? one. Right. So, okay, so let's try another one. What would you like to start with? Maybe a number less than six we can try now. Five. Five. I like it. Okay, I like five. So you have five. How much do you want to add to the next one? Five. Another five. five. I like doubles. Are you, I'm, I'm here, I'm feeling doubles is, is happening. Five. You. Okay, wow. so because this is 10. That's right. Plus two more. Good job. Equals 12. That is great. So five plus five plus two. Very good. All right. Keep going. Do you want to, are, are you following the same pattern or are you doing something different? Doubling two tables, regular number. Regular number. Okay. okay. I'm well, going to use regular number. Oh. Oh, oh, not not doubles. Okay, so what number would you like to start with? Four. 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 Okay, so you have four. You need two more, or you can even use three more numbers because it's three or more, right? So you have one, two, three, four. Do you have a number that you want to go greater than four or less than four? It's up to you. Three. Three. So how much is that all together so far? Seven. That's seven. Very good. Okay, so you're still getting up, you still have to get up to 12, right? Five. Okay, so five. That's okay, it. Okay, so Very seven, good. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That makes twelve. Good job. Wow. All right. What would you like to try next? Only two more to go. Only two more. You want to go... What number do you want to start with? Should we start with three? Seven. 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 All right. Okay. She's changing it up, Ollie. I like it. All right. So we have seven, and we want to keep on going up. What would you like to add to seven? Three. Three. I like that. You know why I like that? Why do you think I like uh, that? What number did you just make? Seven plus three. Ten. You ten. just made 10, yes. and making 10 is such a fabulous idea. Okay. So you have 10. So if you have 10, how many more to get to 12? Two. 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 There you go. Good One, job. two. Plus two gets you to 12. I'm a little off kilter here. All right. We have one more. What number would you like to try? You've already did six, five, four. Seven, you want to try a one or a two or an eight or a nine? One. 
One. One. Okay, so that means we got a lot to add up. So why don't we go crazy and try four different numbers? Whoa. Yeah. It does say three or more. It does say three yeah. or more. Yep. So we might as well go the extra mile here. So what number do you want to add now? Four. 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 Let's do it. Okay, so what's one plus four? Five. Okay, so we're at five. All right. How many more? What's your next number? Five. Five. Oh, I like, I like that. it. We're Here making we ten again. I'm sorry. Plus three. Oh, oh. Well, here we go. We have five plus five, right? Which is ten. If you add one, two, three more, that would be five. That would be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh oh. That's one more than you need. So instead of having three, we had two. You have two. two. Very good. And that will equal 12. Wow, we did it, guys. We did. We did. did you write that down? Yes. Awesome. Would you like to try and win one of those prizes down below? Yes. All right, Yay. here we go. The Puck to Pick a Prize Wall. Oh, the calculator. Ooh. That's a good Ooh, one. It's a bendy one. I like one. this, Ooh. yes. Bendy calculator. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Thank you for your help. Bye, Kalia. Before we take our next caller, we're going to go ahead out to one of our very own Baltimore County Public School and check in for a Mighty Math Minute. Mighty Math Mighty Minute. Mighty Math Minute, and this is your Mighty Math Minute. Today I'm doing the distributive property. The array is seven times six, but I, but I broke the array into two smaller arrays. The first array is five times six, and the second array is two times six. Five times six equals 30, and two times six equals 12. So, 30, 30 plus 12, 12 equals 42. So, 7 times 6 equals 42. And that's how you do the distributive property. in the future. <laughs> that was great. I love seeing arrays in, in action. Wait, who is Array? <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend. Oh, cool. Yeah. I maybe, think I know Maybe him. you'll meet him one day in cool. the future. Yes. I have one of my friends on the phone. Are you guys ready for another caller? Yes. We definitely are. Okay, on the phone now, we have Adi from Relay Elementary. They're in fifth grade. Hello. 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 Hi, Adi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? We're awesome. Did you have a good New Year's? Yeah. Yeah? So the year's already over? No. <laughs> That's a silly question. You know how people say that? Did you have a good New Year? Like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the year's not over. That's true. That's right. Anyway, we're ready for your math problem. What you got? Okay. I have A, if a equals 80, if then what is 2A Divided by 40. Okay, so if A equals 80, what is 2A mm -hmm. divided by yeah. 40? Divided by 40? Divided by 40. Okay. Oh, I love this. This is I algebra, like this right? Oh, yeah. This is so exciting. So, what are you doing in school to work through this problem, Adi? What strategies what? has your teacher taught you? What would oh, your PEMDAS. PEMDAS. Okay. Oh, okay. Excellent. Right. So PEMDAS. Excellent. So should we write out an expression with this and substitute our A for 80? 
Would that be your first? Yeah. Okay, okay excellent. So, oh, I have a question. What does it mean when you have a number next to a letter? Ooh. That means that um, a, a is a variable. A is Whoa. a variable. So is there a, like an invisible math symbol in between that two and A? Yeah, no, it's multiplication. Oh, yes. yes. It, very oh. good. Very good. Multiplication. So, because I couldn't just write 280 like that, right? Because that would yeah. get confusing. You couldn't. Oh, good. Yeah. So, I know that it's multiplication. So, are you using the dot since we are using variables yeah. instead of okay. excellent? I love that. So, 2 times 80. And then we have to put in divided by 40. There we go. Okay? Yeah. All right. So Wait, I, I forgot something. Oh, uh -oh. what did I forget? Um, an extra 80 is negative. Oh, oh wow. Oh. This is getting That's more a big difference. Okay. So the 80 is negative? Negative 80. Ooh. Da, da, okay. da, da, Two times da. negative 80, then divided by 40. Negative 80. Yeah. Oh, this yes. is... This, exciting. Right. Okay, so I know there's no parentheses in this problem, right? And that's what my P and PEMDAS what? stands for. There's no exponents. Yeah, there's no exponents. Yeah, so when I write my M and D, I write them side by side. What do what am I gonna do first? Because Go ahead, you tell me. Um because if it when it, um multiplication division together in one equation, then you just go from left to right. Excellent. Ooh. I always like to say multiplication and division kind of play on the same team. It's like the Ravens and the Orioles, and they're on the same team. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. with addition and subtraction, they're on the same team. Wait, MD doesn't stand for massive donut? Oh. I was so hoping it would stand for massive donut. I'm so sorry. Oh, bummer. We, anyway. We can, we can call the math office and make that change. Yes. But, yes. <laughs> All right, so Adi. So I'm gonna go ahead and am I gonna I'm just yeah. gonna multiply first, right? Yeah. Okay. So I like this one because two times I can just say two times eight. Use my basic math fact is what? What's two times two? eight equals sixteen. Okay. Two times eight equals sixteen, but it was eighty, so I have to make sure I yeah, annex. Yeah. So you add annex to zero. Love it. Very good. Annex. So two times. Negative 80 is 160. Is it positive or negative? Negative. 160. It's negative. Because whenever you multiply two different signs, it's always negative. Guys, don't be so negative. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to divide by 40. Okay, so can I yeah. use a basic math fact again? 4 times 4 equals 16. Yes. Excellent. So 16 divided by 4 is? Four, Four, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Is my answer negative or positive? And is my answer just negative. four? My answer is negative. Okay. Guys, you really should try to be more positive about this kind of stuff. Yeah, we should. Aww. So are we done? Mm. Yes. Did I help you? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Right. Yay! A lot. Oh, okay, good. Aww, I'm glad. You helped nice. me a lot, Adi. Aw, teamwork. Yes. Well, guess what yeah. it's time for? <gasps> it's time for the Puck to Pick, pick Up Prize. Whoa! All right. Yay! Yay! He's very positive. Ooh, it's Ooh. positively a flash drive. Oh, I like those. Yes. Yay! Yay. Congratulations. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you bye -bye. so much. You're oh, welcome. you're welcome. Bye. You're very nice students. Yes, they're so You really do. A lot of good today. manners. Excellent. I love that. I think that. that's pronounced USBA, flash drive. Oh, USBA. Yeah, USBA. just okay. for future notice. Okay. Future. Future. <laughs> okay. Do All right, you guys ready for another caller? Yes. We are. Okay, on the phone now, in fifth grade at Newtown Elementary, is Naeem. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi how are you? I'm doing good. Hi, Naeem. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. You have a good math question for us? 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. We Let's are hear ready. It. Go for it. All right. Um, 322 times 77. Times 27? Yeah. Times 77. 77. 77. Oh, I'm glad I asked that. I would have done the wrong problem. Times 77. Are you using standard algorithm names? Um, yeah, I know how to do that. Oh, okay. yay. Perfect. Cool. Love it. So I'm going to reset this up then. 322 times 77. Well, uh, yeah. And we'll start multiplying with our ones place. 7 times 2 is? Um, 14. 14. Add the 4 and then carry the 1 to the 2. Ooh, ah, very good. Very nice. Okay. 7 times 2 is again? Um, it will be 14, but you have to add the 1. Good. Excellent. So that's 15. So put and the 5 and then carry the 1 to the 3. Is right. So 7, seven times, times 3? It would be, um, tw it would be 21. We added to 20, but now it's 22. Excellent. Good. So we're going to cross out that ones place. We're going to annex our zero. Seven times two is? Seven times two is 14, but you have to care. But 14, add the four. Well, you have to add the zero. Right, right. So I'm going to, well, the one. The one. So yeah. seven times two, two is 14 one. again. Plus, plus, one. plus one, one more. is 15. Yep. And 7 times 3 is 21 plus the 1 again. Yep. Is 22. Excellent. Now I have to add all those numbers together. Add 4 them plus up. 0 is? 200. 400. 200. Did you already get all those numbers all together? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. 794. Good. Very good because yes. there's 24,000, right? You said? 24,000. Okay. 24,794. That okay. was a big number. Awesome. Guess what it's time for? We got to quickly drop the, the prize. Let's quickly get it. Thanks for Talk your help. The mega prize wall. Here we go. Da, 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 da. And the calculator. the calculator. Oh, congratulations. I like that calculator. Yes. Thanks well, for calling in. Bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Well, kids, that's all the time we have for this episode. Be sure to tune in next week. And remember, we do re-air each episode, so be sure to watch. You can even watch these episodes online on our YouTube page. Check it out. Be sure to tell your friends to watch, too. We look forward to seeing everybody again next time. Only, Only here, here on, on BCBS, BCBS TV. TV.